Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show to you seven websites that will pay you as a proofreader. I will also show you those things that will make you the best proofreader in the world and will let you attract up to $2,000 every single month. But then that's not all. I will show to you as a beginner what you would use, the tools you will use, the styles and patterns and templates that can get you in here. Plus, I'm going to give you a giveaway in this tutorial also that you could make this money as a proofreader. But then first, what is a proofreader? Proofreading is a process whereby you examine a written text in a bit to spot the errors and problems and grammatical errors that are in that text. In layman's stand, when you edit an article or a book or any written words, that is proofreading. Now, I'm sure you may be thinking, what does this industry do? Why would somebody write an article or book and give it to me? Simply because the eye that makes an error do not usually notice the error. That's why you are going to step in and be the proofreader. So people are going to write in different languages, but I'm assuming you have to take English and then you have to read and spot out the errors in there, correct them. That is your job as a proofreader. And then if you think I'm a beginner, how would anybody give it to me? I don't even know if my English is correct. How do I know the punctuations that are there? How do I know if this is grammatically correct? I'll show you the free tools you would use and this will be good for you. But then to keep it madly so that you will know if you are jumping on this or not, proofreaders make between five dollars per services to a whooping two hundred dollars per service depending on what you're doing is it a researchable content is it an article is it a book this determines what you charge but i'll tell you in this tutorial how you're going to charge but then if you want to start as a proofreader with no experience then let me tell you four things that you need to be on the lookout for things you have to do before you can even start as a beginner number one is you need to know what proofreaders know you need to have the skills that proofreaders have how do you have this i'll show it to you in this tutorial let's continue number two is you need to know how to use the microsoft word and the editing tools that comes with this microsoft word now if you want to learn microsoft word as a pro i am ready to teach you that i've already made the tutorial in the online beginners class that most people are purchasing but i'm ready to give to five people the microsoft word tutorial only if you go to the comment section and say african giant give me the microsoft word tutorial and i'll give that to you only five people so go now and type that in number three is you have to know the guides and the templates that work well all over the world i'm going to give you that template as well i just want you to make that money that's what i want you to do and then number four before you can be a proofreader with no experience and be successful at it you need to do volunteering services after you learn these things i'm telling you to learn because at the end of the day you don't want to mess up a new client giving you a job and you're not doing it correctly you don't actually want to go to some of these websites i'm going to show to you that can get you hired and give you these jobs and then you mess it up so you want to start on a good plate to start on a good place you have to volunteer just do one or two jobs for free for some people which i'm still going to tell you the strategies as well in this tutorial now we are starting the technical part of things what are the 10 things you need to be on the lookout for when you want to be a successful proofreader but then let me first tell you how to charge your client when you have one so 1000 word research paper would range in price from about five cent per word for a five day turnaround time to 8 cent per word for an express edit of 24 hours. I hope you got what this means. But as a beginner, you can attract new clients with reduced fees. Like you can charge $20 for a 1,000 word research paper and even less if it's an ebook. Something like $50 for a 20,000 word book is what you can charge. Okay now, to the 10 things listed here, please can grab these things as I'm going to list them one by one. Number one is typographical errors. You need to be certain that any content you're giving must be free of typos. Number two is grammatical errors. The use of English needs to be perfect. And then mind you, there are British English, there is American English. You need to be certain of what you are doing depending on the clients that you have. Number three is run-on sentences. What I mean by run-on sentences is there are non-native authors that may not necessarily understand use of English so they are going to use it in a wrong context you need to correct that there are some places that quotes are better off than parables you have to exchange that those are things you have to do if you want to be the best proofreader and not to forget number four which is punctuations and quotation marks this as well needs to be correct and then mainly number five is your spellings every spelling needs to be spot on you have to correct every spelling in the words you're giving to proofread apostrophes and comma usages are number six you have to know that as well just as the same thing as capitalization at capital letters in the first or last which words carry capital letters which words are pronouns that needs to be in capital 
All of this you have to know before you can succeed as a proofreader. And then number eight are the tenses, past tense, present tense, future tense. All of this you have to know to be a proofreader. I'm sure by now a lot of people are saying, whoa, how am I going to do this? Don't worry, I'm going to show to you how you will do it. Actually, even without knowing these things on a natural note, but you can still do this. But then let me finish. I told you it's 10. Number nine is your structural arrangement. How many words per paragraph? When do you move to the next paragraph? When do you split things up? All of this you have to know. Formatting of your book itself. You need to format. If it's a book, you format a book. If it's a research, you format as that. If it's an article, you also have to format like that. These things you have to know. And then I wrap this up in what I call organization and audience appropriateness. It has to be in accordance to what the audience want. If you are proofreading a fitness book, for example, you don't proofread a fitness book as if you are proofreading a chemistry book. It has to follow the format that audiences in that particular niche are used to reading. All of this is what makes you a good proofreader. And to be frank with you, I can already tell that people are like African giants. You told us as beginners, we can do this without experience. All of this you are listing, how do I get this done? Of course you can do it with the help of one single tool. The name of the tool is called Grammarly. How do you use Grammarly to proofread? Let me show you. Now I'm simply going to this article that was written by a client and I am to proofread this and that's why I have it here. And as you can see, I'm using Grammarly on my Microsoft Word. Now, if you want to use Grammarly on your Microsoft Word directly like this, I'll leave in the description below the link to that tutorial so you can also add Grammarly to your Microsoft Word. But then you can see here, Without you doing anything, Grammarly will identify all issues. Look at this. Correctness is going to correct that for you. There's clarity. Correct that for you. Engagement. Delivery. You can see all of these are here and you can get this done. And how do you edit this? All you have to do is click on individual things and that will correct it as simple as that. And just like that, you see it's correcting this. I have to click on it. You can see it has changed the one in the main Canva. That's how to do it. Then it says complete sentence. I can click on that again. It is going to tell you specifically what you have to do. It says this appears to be a sentence fragment. Consider writing it in a complete sentence. Healthy food for breastfeeding. This is a title. So all I have to do is remove the uh, stop sign and then that should be it. You see that? It's also highlighting breastfeeding. Then I can actually go to breastfeeding and correct that as well. One match, update all. And then boom, that's it. This is how you go through using Grammarly to correct each and every one. It's saying I should replace that. And then you can see it's not fully formatted. To format, you now need two words per paragraph if you are writing an article and maximum of three words per paragraph if it's a book. You need to learn all these things and that's why I'm teaching you. And by the way, if you really, really want to know this in all fairness, then you should just go to the first link in the description below. That is where I have a masterclass that treats this all for free. I'm telling you, if you're a beginner, anything you want to learn online, I already figured that out and treated it as a full course in a masterclass free starter pack i call it and then you can go to the description just click that and it will bring you here and then you can see it says wonderful you have been practicing and then all of this all you have to do is click and it will edit just like that very simple to use and then you need to read this is saying bread and breads labeled whole grain and loaves of bread i pick loaves of bread and boom that's corrected you can come to 247 cashdollars.com if you need grammarly pro there is a Grammarly Pro that allows you to even check deeper things like plagiarism and all the best. One last thing before I let you go is there is what we call fonts. Fonts are also important depending on what the content is all about. For example, this is an article and then it might not matter if I have any text there because as soon as this person posts it on their blog, it's going to actually change the whole thing to, to the blog set font. So it doesn't really matter. But if this was to be a book, the font is going to appear in the book. So to change the font is simple. I like the parts you feel you want to change. If it is everything, go back to your home page and then you can see the font here. This is saying area. Then whatever font you want to use, you just click on it and then you can scroll through it and type it in. And if you already have it, maybe you know it, you can just type it directly. And just like you see, but only empty, I change this to, and here we go, you can see the font in, I change it. That is also part of the formatting to change. It might also need you to add table of content, it may need you to add footers, it may need you to add deadlines. Whatever the client needs, they are going to tell you because you should ask these questions per se. That's why I'm telling you the best option is click the link, the first and the only link in the description below. That will take you to the masterclass that will treat all of this for you. Now, let me run down the list of the websites that can pay you as a proofreader. Number one is 
cactusglobal.com. Go to cactusglobal.com and you can see freelancing work here when you want. And then they have a lot of current openings that you can actually work on. They have 1,000 plus as employees, contractors, and 3,000 freelancers in over 90 plus countries. You can work there and you can see all their current openings. You can jump on these at jobs.cactusglobal.com. Number two is scribendi.com. On scribendi.com, you can edit and proofread for scribendi. Now, a lot of individuals use these and you can get jobs. And goals you have to do is go to scribendi.com slash jobs and you can see all the jobs that they have. All you have to do is click on apply. But please make sure you read all the need from you before you apply. Okay, next would be lionbridge.com. Lionbridge.com as well pay you as a proofreader only if you join. These are the current jobs opening they have. Translators, interpreters, all of these you can do. And that is all in proofreading categories. Fair enough. Then you can see them here. And it's a whole list of jobs. Look at this. Location is anywhere in the world. Chinese to English financial translator needed. You can see general translation partner and agency sign up. All of this you can do right from your own. We also have proofreading services dot com if you go to proofreading services dot com you can apply to be an online proofreader and this might be one of the best places to start with and here it says competitive pay ranging from 19 dollars to 46 dollar per hour depending on your turnaround time with the isp for the most urgent headlines so you can also use proofreading services dot com same as you can use freelancer dot com slash jobs they also have all the jobs go straight and edit on it you can see a lot of it of freelancer Dot com same as upwork.com you can also get these jobs on upwork.com and then if you scroll around you can see contractor with settling english and grammar needed for rewriting all this rewriting is all in proofreading same as on fiverr.com proofreading and editing you can just set up a gig in this order and you get orders 10 order this is for 10 dollars 65 dollars 15 dollars but what if i tell you that you can also make money by typing on microsoft word online of course yes absolutely you can i already treated that in a full tutorial look at it here click on this tutorial and let's go make money additional money while